Hello and welcome back. The last time we talked about the gastric digestion, today we'll talk about the intestinal digestion. And before talking about the intestinal digestion, there are some facts about the intestines that we will mention. The first thing that the intestines are 8 meters long. It consists of two regions the duodenum and the ileum. The radius of the small intestine at their beginning is 3.5 centimeters and at their ends is 1.25 centimeters and they coil and loops around themselves by means of connective tissue which is called the mesentery that connect the parts of the small intestines together so that they are coiled and loop around themselves and enclosed in this membrane so as we said in the gastric digestion there are some secretions such as the hydrochloric acid and the um, uh, pepsinogen there are also intestinal juices or secretions. The first uh, thing is the bile. And before talking about the bile, we will draw this to make it more clear. So here we have the bile duct. So this is the lever, and this is called the gallbladder. So actually the bile secretion is produced from this bladder and it moves to the duodenum by means of the bile duct. So this is the duodenum and when the food passes through the duodenum the bile secretion is poured through the bile duct into the duodenum and its function is to emulsify the fats and by saying emulsifying fats is breaking down the fat, large fat molecules into smaller globules to make it more easier to be digested. The second things are the pancreatic juices. So this is the pancreas and the pancreas also produce some secretions which are pulled into the duodenum. The first pancreatic secretion is <coughs> the sodium bicarbonate. And this one has a pH value of 8, so it's more than 7. And accordingly, it's alkaline. So, an alkaline to render the action of the hydrochloric acid, which was produced in the stomach. So, it neutralized the medium of the duodenum. The second secretion is the pancreatic, or the pancreatic amylase and this pancreatic amylase is uh, similar to the salivary amylase or tyalin which is 
produced from the salivary glands. So this one's action is to help in the hydrolysis of or catalyze the hydrolysis of the glycogen and starch into disaccharide maltose. The third uh, secretion of the pancreas inside the duodenum is the trypsinogen and this trypsinogen works also in the uh, process of digestion of proteins and at last we have the lipase enzyme and this lipase enzyme helps or catalyzes the emulsifying of the fats into fatty acids and glycerol so these were the pancreatic uh, secretions we head them into the intestinal secretions the ones which are produced in the duodenum or in the all the small intestines so the first ones are called peptidases and these peptidases so from the name is similar to the peptides and the polypeptides so it's related to the proteins so these peptidases uh, we said that the pepsin br breaks down the uh, bonds between the protein molecules to yield smaller fragments called the polypeptides so the peptidases break down the bonds between these smaller polypeptides or peptones to yield amino acids so there are bonds between these amino acids the peptidases breaks these certain bonds to yield different types or combinations of amino acids the second type of intestinal secretions is the the sugar enzymes and these enzymes are a group of enzymes that breaks the molecules of sugar into less complicated ones and we can remember when we said that the um, amylase enzyme helps in the catalyst in catalyzing the hydrolysis of the disaccharide of the starch into disaccharide maltose and I mentioned that the disaccharide is called so because it yields two molecules of sugar so we will see how in these sugar enzymes we have three types the first one is called the maltase maltase and this maltase breaks down the maltose sugar, the disaccharide, into two glucose molecules. This is the first one. The second one is called the sucrase. And this sucrase breaks down the bonds between the sucrose sugar, sucrose sugar, to give yield of fructose and glucose. The third one. is called the lactase enzyme and this lactase enzyme breaks down the bonds between the lactose or the milk sugar the lactose is the sugar which is found in the milk so the lactase breaks down the bond between the lactose 
to yield. Uh, Galaxos. And Bugos. <clears throat> so these were the intestinal uh, secretions. The next time we will uh, know how the digested food is absorbed into the body tissues. And until then, I thank you for watching and see you next time.